Rudra, please mute all. I think so. We we can start. We should start. Shall we start? Rudra, yes. <laughs> please mute yourself, everyone. Please mute yourself. Welcome everyone. Budding artists of JML School presents Kalanagi, an online exhibition by our students. My co-host for today is Tanishka Gala, and I am your host for today. We'll begin today's event by the invocation ceremony conducted by Saisha Mathur of Standard 8. request our principal ma'am miss damyanti bhattacharya to say a few words
मैम अनम्यूट यू सर मैम Good morning, parents, teachers, friends, and all those who are attending this virtual art exhibition. I thank you all for joining in. Your presence here is a source of inspiration and encouragement for the children and the teachers. Art speaks what words are unable to express," said a wise man. Art reflects life. Art is life. Man has. from times in the moral been inextricably entwined with art ever since man learned to express himself he has done it so through art all of us present here are to a great extent visual learners uh so the moment a child is born he learns to identify objects with colors can you visualize a life without colors surely not Come, friends. Join in the celebration of life. Join in the celebration of art. See the children of Jasu Ben Emil School at their artistic best. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your kind and encouraging words. Welcome, one and all, to a fun and interesting art exhibition called Kalanidhi. Hello everyone. I request you to sit back and enjoy surfing through the world of art. By the way, Mishti, what is art? Art is the response of man's creative soul to the call of the real. It is neither a profession nor a hobby. It is a way of being. I absolutely agree with you, Mishti. I also believe that we have a creative sides to ourselves we just have to explore it to the fullest every child is an artist so we students of jasud ben ml school have put together our art and creativity and we would like to show it to you we are pleased to inform you that we have received more than 300 entries from our very own creative and enthusiastic students from standard 1 to 8 and the nios section so presenting to you the world but we also have a surprise waiting for you so stay tuned to the very end the gallery is presented to you by yash rishkar rudra shinoy and nishit mehta the jasmine school art exhibition let's go and see all the artworks done by the students can you Could you please mute yourselves, wow. parents? May I request you to mute yourselves, please? Please mute yourself, everyone. Please mute yourself. Rudra, mute everyone. Wow.
but it's not over yet we have an activity for all of you Whoa, that was something amazing. Thank you for showing us your extraordinary art and creativity. But Tanishka, let's tell them about the surprise that we were talking about. Okay, let's go on a trip in my favorite rocket ship, presenting to you the surprise three workshop. The first workshop, Explore Art, is conducted by my very own co-host, Mishti Shah. Take away the spotlight, Mishti. Okay, so hello everyone. As you all know, I am Mishti. So what I'm going to show you is that as we all have such bottles at our house, they are like some bisleri bottles, water bottles, we get milk in them. So what can we do out of this? We can convert these bottles into these beautiful show pieces that will look amazing at your house. They can make, they can be a splendid um, showpiece at your house and give an elegant touch to your houses. So let's see how we can make them. First, take a bottle. Okay. And over here, as you can see, I have made a mixture of equal parts of water and fevicol. That is normal glue that we use. Now I am going to take some tissue papers and put it on the bottle. Using a brush, I will put this mixture on the tissue paper such that the whole tissue paper is wet. Continue this process till the whole bottle is covered with tissue paper. Make sure that you have an uneven surface which would give a really nice and antique finish to your bottle. Once this is done, your bottle would look something like this. You can make different features. This is an openable bottle. I have left some space here so that I can put fairy lights in it once I'm done with my um, decoration. And it can be a really nice lamp for my house. This is openable so that I can put some lights and uh, keep changing them if I require to. Once this is done, we take some talcum powder and spray it all over the working surface. Take some talcum powder, rub it all over your hands. Make sure that your hands are completely covered with it. Now I am using a bond set. It is like um, clay dough, but uh, it dries really quickly. So it comes in two packets, just like this. We have to mix equal parts of both of the packets and make a play dough kind of texture. Hmm. So take out just a small amount of it from both the packets. Approximately, it should be of equal proportions. Now knead it well. Knead it really well till it becomes a fine dough. See this? It shouldn't be color. It shouldn't be difference in color. It should be completely uniform. So keep kneading it well. Once it is well kneaded, put it on your working platform and knead it as I show it to you. Now, to decorate your bottle, I will be showing you how to make some interesting um, shapes and features. So take a small amount of it and roll it over your working surface. Make sure you're really quick with all this because this dries really quickly. And we don't want it to harden, right? We don't want it to dry out and waste so much. And take one end of it and curl it. And take the other end of it and repeat the process in the opposite direction. This is a really nice and elegant figure that we can stick on our bottles. So this is one of the figures. Now I'll show you how to make a rose out of this. 
make small balls out of the M seed. Even if they are unequal, that is all right because it's not going to show that much. Once you have made sufficient amount of balls, flatten all of them. And keep them next to each other and stick it just like this. Again, flatten all these balls and stick it. Repeat this process with all the balls. Once you have made a chain kind of a thing with all of them, all you got to do is roll them out. So just roll them and press it from one side. So this is a really pretty looking roll. You can also make small balls and using the back of a brush, just make a whole kind of a thing in between. Please make sure that you do not make extremely complicated figures because in the olden days, we did not have much equipment. So to give it an antique look, we need to keep minimalistic uh, design. Now just take your bottle, which is covered with paper mash make sure that it is completely dried and it is not wet from any sides. I would suggest that uh, you keep it for drying for two days at least so that you are sure about it. Then take the bottle of glue. Normal fevicol is what I'm using right now. Apply the fevicol where you want to stick the figure. And Stick it. Press it gently with your hands and make sure you do not imprint it on it. After that, using the back of the brush, I'm going to make int intricate designs on it. And once I am done, so this is a bottle that I made already because it, times to, uh, it takes time to dry. So once you're done with the covering the whole bottle with MC, you give it 24 hours to dry. After it has dried off completely, this is how it is looking like. I have used pebbles. You can use normal pebbles that are available at your house easily. You can, I have used mirrors. Then I had a bracelet which had broken earlier. So that the chain is out of that and I've made a small hanging. This is all stuck by normal fevicol, but it requires some time to dry. Once this is done, take any colors that you like. I have taken red, purple, and blue. Now I'll be mixing all of it so that a very dull texture, a very dull color is made. I will be applying this all over except the pebbles and the mirrors. This is how you're going to apply it. Make sure you complete all the gray spots. If you want, you can use your hands as well. Don't worry if your, if your paint goes on the marbles or on the mirrors because acrylic paints is what I'm using right now. They, are, they can easily come off smooth surfaces. So just apply it all over the bottle. I'm just going to apply it for a small area to show it to you. So just give it some time to dry and once it has dried, this is the color that I am using right now. It is powdered golden color or fevicryl colors. It is a normal acrylic color but it is in the powdered form. So this is the golden color. I am just taking some in my fingers just like this. Do not take much or else it gives a very bad effect. 
and just apply it lightly and apply it lightly over the protruding areas. If you want, you can just clear up some paint from from the uh, pebble. Signature is all, never more. Signature is never more. So you can keep applying as much as you want. Once this all dries out, your bottles will be looking like this. This is one of the bottles that I have made earlier. I have made this an openable bottle. So this, the top part is just a ball of paper mash that I have covered with the same Play-Doh. And I have put a toothpick inside so that I can take it out and keep it inside. And this is how it is looking. It looks really pretty when you keep it in your houses. It looks very elegant and rich and royal. This is another bottle. Over here, I've used a purple base. And uh, I've done the same technique. So this is a really fun and creative way of decorating some simple plastic bottles and uh, making them a really nice, uh, you know, show pieces for your house. I also have an uh, Instagram page called Explore Art. So please do follow for more such ideas and techniques for you. I hope you like the session for today and you learned something out of it. Making I did video at home. So this is what I had taken up as a hobby and I really used to enjoy it a lot. So I do recommend you also to make such bottles because they are really pretty, they are useful and they are a fun time pass. So thank you so much. That was my time. And please do follow my Instagram page called The Explorer. Thank you so much and I hope... Thank you. Thank you, and I really liked it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Thank you. Was so it was very nice. Thank you, Mr. Rudy. I really liked it. Thank you. I really liked it. Thank you. I, I, I like how you made the very very nice. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank now, many you. more things are uh, Thank in our pocket. Yes, like okay. It. So now we, you have, again you have mute to... yourself and enjoy. Yes. Now again mute yourself. Many, many, many things are there. Okay. Anishka, stop. So, so the next workshop is called The Kitchen Palette. It is conducted by Himanshi Savla and Viranshi Shah. So let's go. Welcome everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to make a palette of natural colors that are... Virenshi, a little bit loud. Yes. Welcome, everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to make a palette of natural colors that are available in our kitchen itself. First, we will show you a video of how to make some colors. For a bright yellow color, take some turmeric and put it into boiling water and boil it for about 1 or 2 minutes. For brown color, we can either use tea or coffee. Choose your ingredient and boil it with water for about 1 or 2 minutes. Don't forget to strain the tea before you can use it in your painting. For a lush green color, we can use fenugreek. Mix it with water. Strain it to get the color which you can use in your paint. Now I'm going to demonstrate a painting. Today, I am going to make some roses. 
I'm going to use tea and coffee. I've taken tea and coffee and I've mixed it into equal quantities. So the inner part of the rose is really very dark. So there will be intense color. And as we go outside, we will only take water. You have to make C strokes. And now for leaves, I'm going to use fenugreek. It has a very dark green color. This is how we use tea and coffee and fenugreek for painting. You can also use turmeric. Now we are going to show you more examples of our uh, other paintings we have made. It was beautiful. Here we have used turmeric and coffee. Here we have only made with coffee. And for the boat one we have used um, paint. These were some examples and thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Wow, that was so amazing. Thank you. The last but not the least is Sit by Stitch by Sia Setia, Dia Mistri, and Gia Mehta. Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Jia Mehta and I'm from class 8th B. Our workshop is called Stitch by Stitch. Uh, it shows the art of stitching which is not only used in fixing tone clothes, but it's also used in um, many creative manners. And today my classmates and I will show you all one way that we use stitching in an art piece. Now my classmate Sia Shetia will tell us the materials we used and how we made this. So for this art piece, we required a stretch canvas. For you to trace the embroider art, we need a reference of your choice. And we also need acrylic paint for you to paint the background or it can be any color you want. And, it, and you need a piece of um, wool and thread for you to um, put it on the canvas. Now we have a video for you to make it easier to see how we did it.
Here she took some paint and the stretch canvas and painted her canvas black. You can use any color you want. Now she took an image and she's taking a safety pin to imprint the image on the canvas. If you don't have a safety pin, you can use a needle too. So this was only the painting and how to get the imprint on the canvas. Now my classmate uh, Dia Mistri will show us how to do the stitching part. Hello everyone. So here is what Sia was doing. Now I'm going to be continuing and show you how the stitching part is done. So I've already made the holes here and now I'm going to pass them through the holes. Here you can see my triangle. Here these are triangles and now I'm going to finish this triangle. So I'm going to put my thread through this hole right here. Now I'm going to pull out the needle. Now we put it through this hole. There we have one triangle. Now you have to continue like that and my friend Sia is going to show you the complete picture. So this is the final outcome of what we are showing you all live right now. Now we have more art pieces that we've done for this embroidered art. So this is one of the examples I've made for the embroider art. This is a bird which I've got on the canvas and I've painted the background in pastel shapes that I like. Um, Jia and Dia have made another sample too. These are some samples of the art pieces that we've already done. Yes, so that's all. Uh, thank you. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for the wonderful workshop. I got to learn so many new techniques. Yes, indeed. And I'm glad that we could organize this exhibition, Kala Nidhi, so well. We could not have pulled this out without the continuous cooperation and hard work of our fellow students. A big thanks to Rudra Shanoi, Yash Shirishkar, Nishit Mehta, and Saisha Mathur. We, we thank our teachers, especially Nemita Miss, Shilpa Miss, and Madhavi Miss for your constant support and motivation. We could not have pulled this workshop so well out without your help. Lastly, I would like to thank my co-host for today. But the biggest thank is still left. I thank you all for being a wonderful audience and cheering us all the time. Thank you so much. Please do share your artworks and creativity with us on the following email ID. art.exhibition at the rate of jmlschool.org. If you would like to uh, replicate one of our uh, workshops, you could send that too. It would make us feel really happy. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so it's much. Can you say the Gmail again? Thank you. It was an yes. Email. Yes. I just repeat the email ID. The email ID is art dot exhibition at the rate of jmlschool.org. We will be putting that up on the chat as well, so you can uh, see it over there. Can and you put it on the chat? I didn't yeah. get it. Yeah. Sure. Sure. And Misty, please announce that afterwards this PPT you will be able to see in website also.
in school website yes you all will all be able to see the uh, ppt that you all saw on the school website so if you would like to see it again you can visit our school website please do share it with your friends and relatives also to spread the word of art we are now open for questions I, is this going are we going to do every of this art and craft on every saturday no this is just for today okay then thank you everyone misty once again thank them for coming yes. and enjoying thank you so much everyone for coming and encouraging us this was a little something that we wanted to do for all of you and entertain you i hope you all take back some learning and some new techniques out of this workshop um can you send a can i do got that that email id the chat yeah i have i have put it on your chat box please do check okay thank you so much yeah. all of you all students did very well thank you thank you now i got it thank you you may end the meeting thank you for coming everyone thank you thank you, thank you everyone. everyone for joining us today for joining thank, thank you for joining so us it was amazing thank you thank you thank you so much it was really